Let's do two examples of rotational systems. In the first one, we're going to have a rotational mass, J, with a torque acting on it, T, attached to a rotational spring, which is then grounded on the other end. And we're going to give this a displacement theta for angular displacement theta for the rotational mass. If we do our expanded free body diagram, we have T, our rotational mass, theta, and then we have the spring torque, which will draw us equal and opposite on the two ends, followed by ground. The displacements of the two ends of the spring will label as zero and theta. We have our element law, which says that TK is equal to capital K times theta minus zero. And we need to sum the force or sum the torques in the same direction that we've defined theta. And what we end up with is T minus TK is equal to J times theta double dot. If we substitute everything in, what we end up with is J theta double dot plus K theta is equal to the torque T. So this is our input output differential equation with theta as output and T as input. Here's another example where we want to find a differential equation with omega 1 as input and omega 2 as output. And we're going to have two masses here. I'll label this J1 with a displacement uh, which we'll call omega 1 with a drag cup damper between them. And here's mass J2, rotational damping B. And we'll measure the rotation of J2 with this variable omega 2. If we draw our expanded free body diagram, we have J1. We have damping torques equal and opposite on the two sides. And then we have our mass 2 with displacement omega 2. The element law is Tb is equal to B times omega 1 minus omega 2. And notice that our first displacement, omega 1, was actually prescribed. So that means that we don't need to find a differential equation for J1. We only need to apply Newton's law one time. And when we apply that, what we end up with is the sum of torques on J2 is equal to just TB is equal to J2 times omega 2 dot, where TB we already know. So the differential equation is J2 times omega 2 dot plus B omega 2 is equal to B times omega 1. This is in input-output form, and so we've produced our differential equation with omega 1 as input and omega 2 as output.